Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, we're up in the Radio Shack here at the Homestead and Mrs. Comms Prepper Helper's up here. Hi Preppers. And she is also a licensed amateur radio operator, so she's going to help me with the video we're about to make. In the previous video I showed you how to make and import an offline map to load into the ICOM RS MS1 Alpha application. And here's my custom map here, I put a custom grid square in and I put three pentagons on the map and I'm going to take the other radio get out in the minivan and drive around our neighborhood and call into the station here and with the help of Mrs. Khan's Purple Helper you're gonna see my icon pop up as I check in so we're just gonna call this checkpoint one two and three and show you how this offline map works because my GPS information is going to be embedded in my D-Star digital signal and Mrs. Khan's Purple Helper will actually be able to tap on that icon and it'll pop up and show you my call sign my latitude and longitude and she'll be able to see my path as I progress through these three checkpoints, one, two, and three. She can use the pinching motion on the touch screen to zoom in or zoom out. So she'll show you that a little bit while I'm driving around. But the objective of today's video is we're going to get in the car, drive around, and check in at checkpoint one, two, and three. And show you where my station falls on this map that we made in the previous video offline. So if the grid goes down because of a hurricane or a tornado or something, and you still need a map for search and rescue and things like that, you can make a custom map, import it to the application, and still be able to find people out there and navigate. So we'll break here. I'll get out to the car, get the other radio set up, and we'll check back in from the vehicle. And you can see how this really cool technology works. Okay, V3. This is K1DOS, approaching the first checkpoint. This is KB3. I'm seeing you on the map. Roger, I should be in the center of the first checkpoint now. Do you copy me in the position? I copy you in that position, K1DOS. Roger, in route to the second checkpoint, K1DOS help. So we can see that the icon appeared here at checkpoint one. And when you tap on the icon, pops up, identifies him, identifies his latitude and longitude. KB3, this is K1DOS, I should be halfway to checkpoint two now. And that's precisely where we see him. And we see him again right there when his transmission ended. K1DOS, this is KB3. I have you halfway between checkpoints 1 and 2. Again, so we've got his caller ID, his call sign, and then his position, along with a nice time date stamp. KB3, this is K1DOS. I should be showing up at checkpoint 2 right now. K1DOS, this is KB3. I'm showing you on the map at checkpoint 2. Affirmative. Heading west en route to checkpoint 3. There we go. So now it's popped up showing his new latitude and longitude. And as he mentioned, we can pinch the screen to show more of that preloaded map and expand it to see more detail. And while we're waiting for the next check-in along this route here. KB3, this is K1DOS, making the right and heading north towards checkpoint three. Understood. We see you on the map. And we'll see how many red lights I hit on this trip. KB3, this is K1DOS, approaching checkpoint 3, heading north. This is KB3, we see you on the map, heading north. K3, 
KB3. This is K1 DOS. You should show me at checkpoint 3 at this time. K1 DOS, this is KB3. We see you on checkpoint 3. Roger that. En route to your location at this time. Thank you for your assistance. K1 DOS clear. So overall, we saw the starting point at checkpoint 1, the move to checkpoint 2, and out and north up KB3, toward checkpoint 1. This is K1 DOS. Be advised, approaching checkpoint 1 from the west. And now we see him working his way back here. K1 DOS, we have you tracking on the map. This is K1 DOS. Arrived at checkpoint 1 en route to the QTH. So there you can see, we have K1DOS, complete the circle, come back to checkpoint 1. You copy my last from K1DOS? K1DOS, this is KB3. We have you en route after checkpoint 1 and returning home. Roger that, K1DOS out. All right, guys, we're back in the station. I hope you enjoyed that little field trip, that demonstration. I hope it highlights the awesome potential this technology has to support emergency communications and emergency preparedness. You're not just getting a walkie-talkie or a handheld radio. When you get a D-Star radio, you're also getting an integrated GPS capability that works seamlessly with the Android operating system here in ICOM's RS-MS1 Alpha application. The setup was simple. We had two handhelds running simplex, no repeater infrastructure, just radio to radio. Here at the homestead, I hooked the radio up to the external antenna, and in the vehicle, I hooked up to a mag mount on the vehicle and made this lap around our neighborhood to show you how this tracks, how the GPS software works, and to really highlight the benefit of being able to make custom maps offline and importing them into your tablet or phone should the grid go down and you don't have access to online maps. I think this is a really powerful technology, and I think it has a lot of applications to prepping and emergency preparedness in general. And we'll be making more videos in the field showing this capability. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a video showing the offline mapping capability of ICOMS RS-MS1 Alpha Android application. Thanks for watching, guys.